All right, good morning and welcome. It's Corporate Governance Platform brought to you by the Institute of Chartered Secretaries and Administrators of Nigeria, Ixan. I am Fumi Omoburiu. Ixan is dedicated to enhancing the status and practice of corporate governance and administration. Today on the program, we're going to be looking at disclosure and transparency as the bedrock of corporate integrity. My guests uh, are already seated right here in the studio. Our guest speaker this morning is Ms. Bukola Olonode Agaga, FCIS. She's Senior Company Secretary with Allsec Nominees Limited, a firm of corporate governance practitioners. Good morning, Ms. Agaga. Good morning for me. All right, good to have you right here on the program. Thank you. Also right here is Mr. Kaudi Ketefe, FCIS, Head of Research, uh, Ixan. Good morning, Mr. Ketefe. Good morning for me. Good morning to you, all our listeners. Ramadan Karim. Okay, all right, thank you. <laughs> okay, also here is uh, Mr. Akumi Fulo, GG, SCIS, Senior, Senior Manager Operations, Ixan. Good morning, Mr. Ujiji. Good morning for me. Good morning, listeners. Okay, all right. Uh, and before we move ahead uh, into the main discourse this morning, let's take this message. We'll be right back. Hey, Obina. Good to see you. Uh, you look so worried. Is everything all right? I'm having serious issues in my company. Balancing the interests of my company's many stakeholders like shareholders, management, customers, financiers, government, and communities giving us a problem. Mm, that has to do with corporate governance. Exactly. Then, you need to get in touch with ICSAN. Ixan? Yeah. Institute of Chartered Secretaries and Administrators of Nigeria. ICSAN. They provide you with seasoned and top-ranking professionals trained to uphold the standards of corporate governance and efficient operations. You can also get in touch with Ixan if you want to become a chartered secretary and administrator. Contact Ixan by visiting the website www.ixan.org or call 0096 Ixan, the hub of governance professionals. All right, the corporate governance platform brought to you by the Institute of Chartered Secretaries and Administrators of Nigeria, Ixan. And like I said earlier, today we're looking at disclosure and transparency as the bedrock of corporate integrity. All right, let's start this way, uh, Ms. Agaga. Uh, what is transparency and disclosure? Um, thank you very much for me. Um, good morning, listeners. Um, transparency and disclosure are integral parts of good corporate governance. They signify openness and willingness to provide clear information about a company's activities, the company's future plans, and the risk involved in the business to the shareholders and other stakeholders of the company. Broadly speaking, transparency refers to the degree to which information flows freely within an organization among managers and employees, and then outwards to the, share, the stakeholders and other share, um, the shareholders and other stakeholders. To better understand transparency, let's look at opacity. Okay. The opposite of transparency. Okay. Um, opacity is the state of being hard to understand and not clear or lucid. When information is not clear, then it is not trusted. When information is hidden, it is natural to believe that there is truly something to hide. So for companies that want to uh, be seen as um, open, um, be seen as trustworthy, then the board must establish policies that ensure and reward transparency and disclosure. It's important to talk about the five pillars of transparency and disclosure. Okay, maybe you'd have to do that quickly. Yeah. Okay, so, yeah, yeah, um, okay, so there are truthfulness, there are okay. completeness, materiality of information, timeliness, and accessibility. Those are the five pillars of transparency and disclosure. Okay. So, um, in being transparent, you must ensure that the information you are giving out is truthful, is complete, 
is material. You don't just give out all the information. It must be a material information. And then you must give it timely. Mm. And then it must be easily accessible. Uh, all right, great. Now, let's look at the relevance of this talking about transparency and disclosure uh, when we talk in the context of corporate governance? Um, so, transparency and disclosure engender trust, basically. Uh, they build trust, they build investors' confidence, and, you know, we all need the support of these investors to finance future growth of the company. Disclosure, which is making the relevant information, including facts, figures, dates, procedures, innovations, etc., available in a timely manner, can potentially influence an investor's decision to either invest in a company or invest in another company. Um, transparency is important to corporate governance because it enables the board to evaluate management effectiveness and for the board to quickly take corrective actions when necessary to address, address deterioration in financial conditions of companies. It is critical for all companies, especially public companies, to provide understandable, comprehensive, and reliable portrayal of their company's financial and non-financial performance. Um, if the information in financial report is transparent, then investors and other users of the information are less likely to be surprised by unknown transactions or events. Investors and creditors expect clear, reliable, consistent, comparable, and transparent reporting of events. Okay. Okay, uh, all right. Uh, is it possible to give instances of, uh, you know, the situations uh, desiring disclosure and uh, transparency dealing or uh, transparent dealings in uh, governance? Yeah, um, there are numerous, there are numerous situations where um, it's important to disclose and for everyone to say that this company is truly transparent. Um, one of such is changes on the board or senior management staff of the company, where there are major changes on the board, you're required to disclose it. Directors dealing in shares, financial statements and earning forecasts, related party transactions, environmental and social risk. There are so many of them. Fines, penalties, um, other corporate governance disclosures. In short, companies should be transparent and disclose any price sensitive information. A price sensitive information is described as the information that will make an investor the site to buy the shares of a company or not. Okay. That is a price sensitive information. So once you have a price sensitive information, it's important and essential for you to disclose it. Mm. Oh, are, are there harms uh, in not fulfilling the disclosure requirements and ideals? Where a company is closed, where a company is opaque, where a company is not transparent and doesn't disclose information regularly, mm. then ultimately such company will fail. So um, it leads to financial failure of the company. A complex and opaque financial report gives no idea about the genuine risk involved and the real fundamentals of a company. So where um, Companies, businesses are complex, structures are um, opaque, then such companies are very risky and then they are less valuable investment. Um, for example, where um, the, the financial reports or statements of a company does not disclose the level of a company's debt. And any investor that wants to invest in that company cannot estimate the company's exposure. And that is very risky because you don't know whether this company will be wound up tomorrow by creditors. Okay. So insufficient or unclear information may hamper the ability of markets generally to function. It will increase the cost of capital and then it will result in poor allocation of resources. 
Uh, all right, uh, quickly, let's look at uh, how important uh, the concept of transparency and disclosure is when it comes to the issue of a stakeholders' relationship. Um, as I said earlier, transparency and disclosure engender trust. So lack of communication and trust, transparency creates suspicion. Okay. Recently, a regulator sacked the board of a company and is holding, two companies actually, the holding company and its subsidiary, just because there was no disclosure of a very important Asia. Mm. And then everybody started thinking that, oh, there must be something going on. So, you know, this, this was a company that we all thought, oh, this company is superb, superb corporate governance. But that singular issue cast a doubt on not just the company, but the board and the directors, individual directors of the company that know something must be going on. And so that is why it's important for companies to be open um, because the lack of communication will create suspicion. The concept of transparency and disclosure um, make it easier for investors to make informed decisions. I've said that several times. Yeah. And then it calls down manipulation or misuse of investors' funds. Severe financial and economic crisis can be avoided with increased transparency. Transparency eliminates insider trading and window dressing. It helps to create a stable market by reducing uncertainties in the market. Mm. Um, transparency and disclosure do not only serve investors. They also help regulators in maintaining sanity, confidence and system stability. Uh, uh, all right. Thank you so much, uh, Ms. Bukola Olonadi Agaga. All right. Quickly, Mr. Ketefe, let's uh, take some announcements here. Thank you very much, Fumi. The first announcement today is on our forthcoming students forum. This is to inform all our students that the June 2021 Dias student forum is scheduled to hold on Saturday, May 15th, 2021. Time is 10 a.m. prompt. The mode of participation is by factual method through Zoom. The forum offers the platform for our students to listen to advice and tips from experienced and seasoned members of the institute on issues relating to their studentship and especially as uh, issues concerning the June 2021 examination. Students so will have the opportunity to bear their minds on any issue bordering them, not the least. The forum also offers opportunity for the students to network with fellow students. The link for participation has been sent to all the students. For further inquiries on these, please call Yinka on 080-658-97280. I take that again. Yinka on 080-658-97280. Thank you very much for listening. There are other announcements to be taken by my colleague. All right, Mr. GJ, quickly, let's take that. Okay, thank you very much for me. Dear listener, do you know that the 2018 Nigerian Code of Corporate Governance makes a provision for corporate governance audit and board evaluation? Do you also know that governance audit and board evaluation is a veritable source of income? Dear listener, do you wish to become a certified corporate governance auditor stroke board evaluator with a knack for professional efficiency? Now, if your response is in the affirmative, then it's my pleasure to invite you to the Excellence Certification Training scheduled to hold from Monday 17th May to Sunday, sorry, to Monday 17th May, Tuesday 18th, Wednesday 19th, and Friday 21st May 2021 from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. And it's going to be a virtual training. For those who are interested and want to have details as to how to register for this program, please call OGG on 080 23 783 and also, the Institute is pleased to invite you to the 2021 Roundtable on Corporate Governance, scheduled to hold on Thursday, 20th May 2021 at 10 a.m. And it's going to be virtual. The theme is Ethical Governance in the Boardroom, Implications for Stakeholders, under the Distinguished Chairmanship of His Royal Highness Igwe Alfred Nemeka Achebe, FCIS, CFR, MNI, Chairman Unilever Nigeria PLC. The guest speaker is Professor Koinsola Ajayi, SAN, 
managing partner Ola Niwun Ajayi LP, and we have two discussants for that day in the presence of Dr. Nichi Eziako, FCIS, and Mrs. Mavi Isibo. It's going to be virtual. For further information on registration details, please call Ujiji on 080 237 Thank you. All right, thank you so much, uh, Mr. Gigi. I have to thank all my guests on the program this morning. Ms. Wakola Olona de Agaga, FCIS, Senior Company Secretary with All Sec Nominees Limited, Firm of Corporate Governance Practitioners. Thank you, Swan, for having you on the program. Thank you for me. And uh, been, yeah. All right. Thank you, uh, listeners. Also, Mr. Kayade Ketefe, FCIS, Head of Research, Ixan. It's always a pleasure to have you right here on the program. Thank you very much. And also, Mr. Kumifula Ujiji, FCIS, Senior your manager operations Ixan. thank you for being here thank you for me all right corporate governance platform returns next week wednesday 10 15 a.m right here on eco 89.7 fm i am for me good morning and enjoy the rest of the day